quite like to have breakfast with Beyonce, frankly. I am an expert on binge watching. I don't know what they are, actually. They're, they seem pretty non everything. Really fantastic to see you. Um, you've done some rather cool things. Uh, how does this compare now you're part of The Witcher? Oh, it's pretty great. I mean, it's pretty dreamy being entering into, you know, such a rich universe um, and one that, you know, has such an enormous fan base. Like, it makes a lot of people really, really happy. Um, <laughs> And it's wonderful, it's been amazing diving in and, you know, looking at all of the work that has been done previously, it's pretty immense. Yeah, talking about diving in, are you now an expert on binging or did you actually watch the series before? No, you know what, I am, I am an expert on binge watching, I guess. I don't love to do it, but it, it's so immersive, this world, it's actually kind of fantastic. And I did it with Game of Thrones, actually, it was the same thing, like you want to stay in that world once you're in you don't really want to come out of it. And I felt that way in, in The Witcher. I just, I loved it. And I wanted, you know, the characters also really keep you coming back. And when you first got the call, the email, whatever you got, did you think, well, how, you know, this is incredible. How was your reaction? Because it must be so exciting. Well, you know, um, it's, yeah, it's wonderful. It was great. And it was also very specific, like what it was that they needed me to do. And that's always really great, is when you come in and you understand how you're part of the connective tissue of this much larger organism. That's really satisfying to go, oh, I see how this fits in. And then also feeling like that character, there's potential for her to, or them, I don't know what they are, actually. They're, they seem pretty non-everything. Is there a shapeshifter there? All things. Could, could come into the world again at some other point. Like, I liked that there was the potential for that, too. Love that. How do we pronounce your character's name, just to make sure we get this right? Shanaki. Shanaki. Yeah. Amazing. But Shanaki is the collective, is the collective name for what they are. They don't actually ever reveal their names. Their names are secret. Um, so they are basically this collection of, they're mortal, but ancient, and they live for a really, really, really long time. But they are mortal, they're not gods. Um, and they can shapeshift between time and continents and planets. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty great. Wow, if you were gonna shapeshift right now, where are you gonna go? Where are you gonna put yourself? I'd quite like to have breakfast with Beyonce, frankly. I'd quite like to do that, I'd quite like to, like, Listen to some new music with her. Yeah, right just like she, you could be the ears to her new album. You, you know what? I'd actually really like that. She'd be like, "Yeah, Minnie, can you listen to this and tell me what you think?" If you did DM her, do you think she'd reply? No, no, okay. no, I don't. <laughs> I mean, I don't. I'm more fascinated with what she's gonna have for breakfast now. I mean, <laughs> I'm just seeing the whole fluffy robes, and I'm kind of hoping that it would be like ordering everything on the room service menu, and then having a bit of everything. Yeah, and then JC comes in with just some more coffee or something. Yeah, and the kids and stuff, and us like chatting about life and, yeah. Yeah, we can make that happen, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> um, in regards to your character, I'm gonna ask everyone this. If they had a dating app and they had to sell themselves on this dating app, what do you think, how do you think you'd, you'd sell? How she, would... she can quite literally be whoever you want her to be <laughs> because she shape shifts. So whatever you need, she can be, but but really, um, that's actually putting her at a great disadvantage. I mean, she can shapeshift out of any bad situation as well, so that's good. I love that. And it's funny, how is your Elvish? I can't even say Elvish. Elvish? Elvis? Elvish. Elvish. <laughs> I don't really have. I don't really have any Elvish, but it that it really is learning like another language. The just the pronunciation of places and names and things that happen, but um, yeah, I'm, I gotta, I gotta get that on, um, on, what's the, what's the language, Duolingo? Yes, you must. And just finally, um, just co, co-stars, have you got a favourite? Do you love hanging around with anyone in particular? Well, I really only work with Joey, so he's my favourite. Mm -hmm. But he is, he is absolutely magic, he really is. He's, he's so great, it is such an amazing character that he's created, and he's, he told me a lot about the worlds. He's very knowledgeable, so he's kind of encyclopedic knowledge of the Witcher universe. 
Amazing. Thank you so much indeed. You are magic, and I hope Beyonce happens. Thank you. I know, I you know. So I doubt it will. I can, I can dream. We'll put it out to the universe. We'll make it happen. Thank <laughs> you so much. Pleasure All to right, meet you. Thank, thank you. you.